What's going on, fish keepers around the world? You're watching Fish with Odd. Happy Monday, and it's time for Fish Tank Review. Uh, fish tanks have gone too far. I found this at a famous pet shop in my country. Presenting to the fish fam something I would not want to ever have presented. It is the portable fish tank. Yeah, that's right. You're calling this a fish tank. Suitable for office study table. On the hub or what? Like a real office? That's highly debated. This highly unconventional fish tank. A cornerstone decor of the workplace. Every professional knows it. If this is on your desk, yeah, you're making that sale. Guess what? That guy will be your client. I like how in the packaging, they've actually made it even more phallic. It's like longer so for some reason. But then you take it out and I wonder if people are are like just disappointed, you know? Like, hey, that's not what it looks like on the packaging. This is false advertisement. <laughs> People have preferences. Get it right. Do you not have any standards for your product? Come on. Where's the passion behind this? Found this at a famous pet shop in my country. Which pet shop? PetSmart? That's pretty famous in every country, actually. What is this famous pet store, bro? Are you sure it's a pet store? But to be fair, and on the bright side, this is probably just for show. I don't think they're putting live fish in here. You can see that probably does come with some sort of like toy props, toy fish maybe some toy plants. There's no additional information. There's no gallon. Can you at least put it against like a banana? Are you sure about that? Portable Bilbo? <laughs> that word does not say Bilbo. Sorry for spoiling your name, Bilbo. Aren't most of the Bilbo portable by default? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> what kind of big, elaborate Bilbos do people use nowadays? One fish tank to rule them all, you know what I mean? For when you want your fish to perform a prostate exam. <laughs> I highly doubt that's how hardcore a prostate exam is. I mean, I've never taken one, but if that's how it's gonna go down, mm, sheesh, man. And add around five plecos for some deep cleaning. <laughs> I'm, oh man, a lot of algae up in those crevices. Get rid of all the ammonia up in there. That's a crazy comment. Time to move on. <laughs> Quick ad segment. Slap like, like now. now. Support on Patreon to join FFT Discord and to submit your fish tank. Wow, shortest ad segment. Donna sent in their 20 gallon tank that's been up for two years. They've stocked it with some chain loaches, some cherry barbs, some corridoras, autosinclus, and snails. And it looks absolutely beautiful. It's a good size for all those stocking. Chain loaches, don't see them often, but whenever I do, man, great choice. The tank looks quite natural. There's some leaf litter. The substrate looks quite nutrient dense. And it's just a messy scape that's just let to go wild. An enjoyable 4.27 out of 5. Up. These stinking snails. <laughs> oh man, took me like half a second to realize what happened here. That is one crazy ass snail, bro. It is very, very impressive for an aquatic snail to do that. Aquatic snails are like fish. If they're out of the water, they can't breathe. Their breathing system just seizes up, clings to each other, and it doesn't feel good. It's probably what you feel when you know how you take a deep breath in your lungs and sometimes it hurts a little bit, but this is one douchebag snail right here. Oh, your perfectly white walls? Let me just fornicate on it. Hmm? How's it look now with my art? Modern art is what they call it. It is the state of being born, you know. Eternal youth? Hmm? I've blessed your house. It's the year of the dragon. You're welcome. And just F back into the water. I don't know how it got that far, but damn, it went through adversity. Some character development right there. That's at least five flashbacks and 20 episodes for Dragon Ball Z. Siamese algae eater Augustus Gloop. Sounds about right. Holy cow, is that even a fish? This used to be a fish. Safe to say this Siamese algae eater has not been eating much algae as of recently. Can you even imagine this monstrosity fervently cleaning algae? No. Bro lays there and vacuums blood worms for a living. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Carpathia, the best boat. Not gonna ask. Sent in their 10 gallon tank and they're going for a Atlantis slash Greek vibe. The pillars really sell it. Something's funny about that rock just placed on top of the pillar. Now I thought those are flying saucers at first. I was like, mm, you're also going for a men in black vibe, aren't you? It is stocked with one singular bed of fish called Aegean or Aegean. Not sure if I'm saying that right. I didn't take Greek studies. Seems like husbandry's on point. It's very clean. There's probably even floaters up top. 3.7 9 out of 5. Continue doing what you love. Got a couple buckets of water and some dirt from my local pond. Gonna see what happens. That's a really cool idea. And yes, the light is a very important aspect of that. Once the dust settles, wait a couple days, maybe a week or two, there's gonna be all these sort of interesting critters, mostly worms and copepods. If you're lucky, if you live somewhere a little more tropical or if it's the right season, and by sheer luck, you might have gotten something even cooler. Maybe tadpoles, maybe some
some dormant fish eggs that didn't hatch, and perhaps some dragonfly or damselfly larvae. So if you don't have a lid on there, there might be things flying out of your tank in the next few weeks. You do want to look out for that. That might freak you out. You're just eating your cereal in the morning and there's dragonflies in your cupboards. That would be very trippy. Seomog Betta sent in their first tank ever, which is a seven gallon tank with a singular betta in it. Perfect size for a betta fish. A seven gallons, that's crazy good. I absolutely dig the background. The Valisneria is so nice. I feel like if you did Valisneria on both sides or just a full background of Valisneria, that would make the scape look really nice. It's a centerpiece rock. Different colors of rock in the bottom. It's a little bit artificial, but if you like it, hey, all the power to you. You're even doing some carpeting action. A substrate, I'm not sure what that is. Might be from like AliExpress or something like that. Perhaps some random nutrient substrate. They're not the best, but if it works, it works. If I have that mistaken for like contra soil or something, I'm so sorry. Still, a wonderful first scape for a very lucky betta fish. Keep it up. 4.43 out of 5. Thai micro crab spotting four months after being introduced to the tank. Yeah, these guys just generally go into permanent hiding. They got their own shrimp dimension, you know what I mean? But that is a super cool crab. Imagine having this sort of thing in your fish tank. It just makes everything seem so much more natural. You got a whole crab in your ecosystem. I wonder if it's flushed. That's why it's super white. Or if it's just the lighting. I've always wanted one of these. Apparently they're not aggressive, but I did read of just one Reddit post where they were confused. Like their Thai micro crab was doing all sorts of heinous crimes in their fish tank. Like taking out fish, eating shrimp, getting aggressive. I wonder if it's a different subspecies of Thai micro crab that was not yet known at the time. Or maybe in certain conditions or water parameters, they showcase a more aggressive demeanor. Super interesting stuff. You always got to stay on your toes in this hobby. If everyone thinks something is already set in stone, it could still be turned upside down completely. What is this guppy doing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this guppy is doing the dirty deed. This guppy is full on peacocking because it is attracted to this lovely lass, this lovely female guppy. It is on full display trying to get uh, lucky. <laughs> Congratulations, you're gonna be a grandpa soon. That's just incredible. I feel like this guy has posted something else like this, and last time I said, is this real? Most people were like, yeah, it is real. I've seen it before. Where do you guys go to see something like this? I want to find something like this for myself. Most of the ecosystems around my place, I live in Canada, they don't look like that down under. Hope he has people help to fix from leaking. Can't even tell what kind of shape that is, but I mean, it's a big tank, I guess. You really have to make sure that it's engineered in a way where it's not going to have some areas of the tank that are way too heavy. That is why usually we see a rectangular tanks. Pressure is divided pretty Pretty evenly on every single side, every single corner. Imagine the terror of any fish if the owner runs an uneven load in the washer. Holy crap, I didn't even notice the washer. What an absolute buffoon. I did not notice the washer either. Why in the world? Isn't it obvious not to put a washer right under your fish tank? Because anyone who's ever done laundry, either the washer or the dryer, I think this is both, it rattles like crazy. They do be shaken. What do you think is gonna happen to your poor fish tank and your poor fish when that happens? Luckily, it doesn't seem like it's stocked yet, so fingers crossed. Owner takes this down and makes a normal fish tank. Why is it shaped like that? OP said he wanted it to follow the shape of the stairs. This is Phil McNello's wild tank. They've got emerald shiners in there and two catfish. Not sure what kind of catfish, just two catfish. And a barb. Oh, it looks like a green barb. Pretty massive guy. It does look a tiny bit unkempt. There's a lot of algae going on everywhere. There's many species of algae, but it does give that really natural feel to it. Feels like some kind of river basin in the wild. And it's a good size for the fish in there. I'm not sure if some of these fish have maxed out yet or not. Not sure what the catfish you mentioned are, but for the most part, it should be fine. Everyone seems to be thriving. And this scape, this tank, makes for a very interesting thing to look at. And that's kind of the whole point of our hobby, right? To make things that we want to look at, make things that intrigue us. This is an intriguing tank. There's always something going on in here. 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. How's that fish tank going? Me. I'm in the process. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in the process of spending tremendous amounts of money. I could use some practice with my Trump accent. Yep. That is, however, usually how it's going. For some plants that are gonna die in about three months. Go me. This was advertised for goldfish. I could barely even fit one of mine. Ingenious way of checking, like, how big the size actually is without taking the fish out, without making it uncomfortable or harming it. And a super cool perspective. Yeah, I can't believe they suggested goldfish. Th ain't no way, man. That will not even fit a betta fish. That may be good for snails 
I hesitate to even say shrimp. Maybe some marimo moss balls. That's what these people should take care of if they're only willing to go that size. My fish keep dying. I'm on overstocked 2.5 gallons. It's the third day that I wake up with <laughs> dead fish in my aquarium. Is my 2.5 gallon aquarium overcrowded? Hey, this guy wants to be educated. This guy's asking what they're doing wrong. And that is a very, very big green flag, by the way. Almost as green and healthy as the hydrocodile in the background, which is impressive. That's an impressive scape. It's just stock in a very weird way. There's an angelfish in there, I've just noticed. That's a baby angel. And even if the angelfish is not in there, that's way too many glowfish, dude. The size of this tank is not conducive to glowfish at all, period. You should be going for a bed of fish if it was like five gallons. For a 2.5, you should just stick with shrimp. Really glad they have that mentality and willingness, the mindset to learn. They see something going wrong, they don't just keep doing the same exact thing. Kudos. Also, some people were saying that is the heater up top. I don't believe that is. I think that is the LED light. Some LED LED lights do look like that, but if that is indeed the heater, that's a big no-no. Uh, you gotta throw that heater away now, especially if it's been plugged in for all this time, because it's surely exploded by now. Never plug in heaters that's not in the water, and never plug in broken heaters. Terrible product and even worse influencer backing it. I'm not sure which influencer, but I'm gonna guess MMA sort of influencer. Not gonna bother. This is a horrible tank. This is no different than any of the little split 2.5 gallon bed of fish tanks. Maybe worse, because people are gonna buy it, because it's hyped. Fan base of MMA be exposed to fighter fish. They might even try to get them to fight each other. Oh yes, never mind. That is much worse. But it's just me or does this remind me of like a Beyblade stadium? The only thin blue line that matters is the stripe on this neon tetra. Well said. If it stops being a thin blue line, you know you got problems. It just means you have a cardinal tetra. <laughs> but it is a good indication that everything is going smoothly if your neon tetra still has the thin blue line. If it doesn't, check your water temperature first and foremost. Or you just turn on the lights at midnight when the lights were off and they're trying to sleep. In that case, you don't have to do anything except don't disturb them next time they're trying to sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're wondering, hey, uh, why does the audio seem a little bit quieter? There's some people sleeping in right now. I can't make loud noises, except I did clap in the very beginning of this video. And that brings us to the cut one. The question of this week is, how long do you guys sleep? How many hours do you need to sleep? I need like, a good solid nine hours, baby. I need my sleep or else I get a migraine or else I'm grumpy AF, super tired. So how long do you guys need to sleep? Don't none of you say those entrepreneur four hours, <laughs> you cringe folks. You're out there. All right, guys, if you enjoyed, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget, to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal act, clear my fin rod from Carisiformes to Peratrodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.